Hello and welcome to Explore Bio. I have met several students studying molecular biology finding the topic of transcriptome difficult. So today I am starting a new series of videos on transcriptome where you will learn about the importance of transcriptome study, its applications, basic workflow, how it is done, data analysis, important terms such as reads, transcripts, assembly, annotation, differential expression and lot more stuffs. I will try to make the topic simple yet covering important aspects of transcriptomics. I am sure after listening to these, you will say that learning transcriptome is easy. I request you to be consistent with all my videos to get most out of them. This is the first and introductory video on transcriptome. So I will be covering briefly about the role of genome. If you have watched my previous videos, you might know that our heredity information in the form of genome which is stably transferred to further generation. Thus, the major role of genome is information storage and transmission. The life also has an amazing mechanism of developing genetic variability in the genome through several mechanisms such as recombination and mutations. I highly recommend you to watch few of my videos to become clearer about genome, its storage, its different fates, etc. I have tried to clear the differences between the genome, genes, DNA and chromosome. You may watch them later. Their links are given in the description below. The genome content and genes remain almost the same in all the cells of an organism. But for responding to specific environmental change or developmental stage, different tissues or the cells needs to decode this genomic information differentially and suitably. For this, a specific set of genes are transcribed to RNA which are short-lived messenger molecules. The transcriptome is a complete set of RNA transcribed in a cell or tissue at a specific time. As transcriptome refers to the express part of the genome, it is also known as the functional genome. The study or the analysis of transcriptome is known as transcriptomics. It provides a good estimation about the cellular state in terms of gene expression. Transcriptome generally refers to the mRNA that codes for protein, but it can also be used to study non-coding RNAs such as miRNA, long non-coding RNAs, pvRNA, etc. In contrast to the genome which is almost the same, overall transcript level or the transcriptome is very dynamic and this is essential too. Variability in transcription is one way an organism responds to internal and external environmental changes and regulate their growth development and survival. For example, if a plant come across a heat stress, then it needs to produce something that can protect it against the stress. The plant does so by expressing heat responsive genes. So you see that the transcript of those genes increase after heat stress. When the conditions again become normal, the transcript level again becomes the normal. This way, the dynamic nature of transcriptome is very important. So there are two major ways to study a transcriptome. The first one is a hybridization based microarray technique and the other one is sequencing based or the RNA-seq technique. In microarray, a predetermined set of probes representing sequence of gene fragments are fixed on a solid chip. The major limitation of this technique is that gene sequence needs to be known for designing the chip. Thus for non-model species that lack genomic sequence information, microarray is not a viable option as the chips are not readily available and needs to be designed and designing a chip is very costly. On the other hand, with the improvement of next generation sequencing technologies and reduction in the cost of sequencing, RNA-seq has become a popular choice for transcriptomic studies. Moreover, RNA-seq being a sequencing based approach does not require prior genomic information which makes it suitable to analyze transcriptomes in non-model species too. Transcriptome analysis serves two main purposes. The first is the identification of genes and their isoforms also known as the qualitative estimation and the second is to estimate the gene expression or the relative expression in different biological samples also known as quantitative estimation. Thus transcriptome is very useful technique to compare expressional changes in contrasting samples or after various treatments, it provides clues about possible function of different set of genes based on their expression. RNA-seq provides information about the rare transcripts with lower expression which was difficult with microarray. Recent advancement has made it possible to sequence and provide expression profiles of single cells too. Transcriptome can be used to compare the expressional changes in disease compared to the healthy samples. 
identification of important biomarker of gene involved in pathogenesis or other traits. As it provides the transcript sequence, it helps in identification of genes. It may be used to see the effect of drugs on cells. It can also be used to study the SNP variants across the samples. So that's all for the today's video. In my next video, I will start discussing about the basic workflow and the steps in the transcriptome sequencing. If you like the video, do share with your friends. Comment about what new you learned today. Subscribe to get notified about my latest uploads. Watch my playlist to find my other popular videos. Thank you.